Hello, my name is Bob. I am making a short video today to introduce this little elevation over azimuth positioner that I've uh, developed. This is developed for use in amateur radio, uh, for use in uh, tracking low Earth orbit satellites uh, with moderate to small antennas. And uh, so I just wanted to make a short video to introduce this and show you the hardware uh, and how this works. So if you hold a moment, we will uh, give you a little demo. Okay, here's a shot of the elevation over azimuth positioner. The elevation axis is on top, right here. You can see this uh, fiberglass rod or fiberglass tube I'm using to support the antenna. There's a similar shaft on the other side where you can put another clamp, another rod, and then another antenna. So here's the elevation gearbox, motor, and the motor driver. The azimuth gearbox is the very same thing, only it's oriented so that you can get asthma. So here's the gearbox, the motor, and on the other side is the uh, driver. The input to this is just a 25 pin parallel port cable. Uh, these used to be called printer cables. Uh, I call them now their CNC cables because this is uh, what's used in the Linux CNC world um, a lot of times for driving stepper motors and that kind of thing. So here's some azimuth motion. Very easy. Here's some elevation motion. Here's both as and L motion. Uh, let's come back down here. Okay. I can go to a specific point by entering a uh, a command on the uh, computer. This is what you would do under program control. And just have the machine uh, go to that location. <clears throat> so that's it. That's about all you need really to position an antenna. Um, no real limit on the range of motion this thing will go uh, around and around you just have to uh, as always you just have to be careful with your cabling so that you don't twist cables off of the uh, unit so that's your demo and uh, thank you for watching this is Bob at Bob's Garage Shop